with Fashion Sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to sew a choker, a neck choker. Now, this is a bit different. I, have, I, I haven't made a choker in a sense of just using fabric. I've done it with ribbons. I've made chokers that way. Um, but guess what I've got? Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because I have made a pair of pants. Well, I haven't made a pair of pants. I refashioned a pair of pants and I cut the legs a bit shorter. Hence the reason I've got the ends of two pant legs. And I'm going to make this into a choker. And the pants goes with a jacket so it's a suit so um, in these times uh, where we need to think about fashion in, in, in a different way I just wanted to make sure I used every single bit so I decided I'm going to make a choker out of these somehow I'm just thinking of how I'm going to do it because I don't want to just use one because it is possible for me to just use one but I don't want to do that so I'm going to think about how I'm going to achieve the look that I'm wanting to go for. So I'm going to show you how to achieve, how to create a choker with uh, pants legs, I suppose. And yeah, and then I have this nice suit, the jacket, which I put up here, where was a cut out, and that really turned out really, really well. And the pants, which I've put here, these are videos that you can watch, and I'll link them below. Um, and they are cigarette pants, and both these are um, requests from my subscribers. Um, so I just thought I would make a net band with it, the or a choker. I suppose it could be a net band as well, isn't it? Um, with the pant leg, and yeah, and it'll be an amazing suit. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do then is I don't know how I'm going to do this. I want to I want to use both of these. So I think the best thing is to do is to get a seam ripper and yeah. Open it out. I'm gonna join them together actually, that's what I'll do. I'll join them together and see what shape I come up with. And yeah, looking forward to this. So there's one, here's the other one. And I'll just make sure that I am going to put this around my neck so you can see why I don't really want to use just one leg. I want to use both pant legs. Let's see me put it that way. I'll bring the camera down in a moment. Okay. So there we have it. Okay, I've been the camera down now. Okay. So let's see. Oh. Um So I could create a seam down, so a seam down the centre, so that means I'll be using both of them, but quite thick. I'm going to have to do some hand sewing, which I don't mind. Okay. Yeah, I think the first, the first thing I'll do is create a seam, a seam down the centre, sew them together. Get my pins. Okay, let's do the other side. I think it's great when you can just use all the bits 
of a refashion project. Okay. This is going to be a good idea for me to do is a measure around my neck. So let's measure around my neck. I suppose it wasn't a very good idea we be wearing a polar neck, but we'll go with it. So I'm gonna have it flat over so that it can be fastened. I'm gonna use Prestids. Okay. So this is where I'm gonna start so start sewing here, come all the way here and stop there. And I can cut the rest away. So I'll take that to my sewing machine and just make a straight stitch straight down. Okay, I have sewn a seam down the center and then it's gonna figure out how I'm going to, right, so I want to season the eating edges because they're turn up on the pants, the hemline. Okay, it seems to want to do its own thing here. That's fine, I'm happy with that. Okay. Yeah, that's fine, I, I'm, I'm happy with that. Maybe just a bit more. I'll just put some pins. I don't want it to be overlapped too much because I want it to be quite. Let me just play around here. Mm. Yeah, it's quite wide and I like that, but I want it, it's not interesting enough for me. I quite like that look. It means I'll have to do some hand sewing and right so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the mirror and have a look to see which style I would prefer to go with so bear with me just one moment so it's either going to be like this which I quite like or fold it in half like that. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for this because I like the depth I like the width of it I've only got a short neck but I'm just thinking of it as I can see the vision of my suits with me and my jacket in my head. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to go for this one. Let's look. Yeah, I'm going to go for this. So it's just a seam down the center and then, yeah, I'm going to go to the machine and just sew straight down and straight down. And yeah, I, I, I will be more or less done. I've sewn both ends and I've just trimmed them away. Trim the other side. Just angle, just clip that side and this side. And turn it to the right side. Yeah, there we go. Just need to give that a press. And then I'm going to slip stitch the bottom of that to keep it together. And then I'm going to put a couple of press studs on here. Here on this card here. Yeah. There, like that, and I put one there. Well, that will really look nice. So, the next step is doing some hand sewing, sewing along the edge there, 
and then putting these on. I do have, I do believe I have a video tutorial on how to sew on um, press stud, so I'll put a link to that in the description. So I'll sew this bottom with a slip stitch hand stitching. So I've threaded a needle, single thread, and I'm now doing my slip stitch. So it should be nicely hidden away, my thread stitching. Like I said, I'll put a link to the tutorial for this technique in the description. I finished hand sewing. There we go. And now all that is left for me to do is to put the press studs on by hand. I decided that I'm going to have this side, the machine sewn seam towards my chin and this will be resting um, along my the bottom of the choker. So that's the way it will go like that. So I just need to position, um, let's see I'm going to go with this one, and I'm going to have two, one in each side. like so and I'm going to hand sew those in position and then put these on the other side they'll go a bit further in like that and it, no 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 not on that side because that'll be on the the right side like that so this is on the inside and this is going to be on the right side I'm going to... I've now completed the choker and I'm happy with it, yeah, it looks nice. Let me just show you the fastenings. And then I'll try it on. Here it is. I love it. It's cute. It really is cute, I do like that. It looks nice. No, it isn't fit my neck like that because it's cut on the straight it's not cut on the bias so there isn't any stretch but no that is gorgeous I like that it looks nice yes let me just give you a twirl yeah it's cute yeah I like it I mean, it's gonna look very nice got a bit of a short neck but no it's fine I think it really goes well with my suit. I do have some scrap lace somewhere that I could make a top with. I think it's grey. I'll have to have a look through my stash, but no, that's fine. That's great. So this is my choker that goes with a suit. This is the jacket that I've refashioned and also the pants as well that I've got that matches this. I've also refashioned. So what I will do is, um, on my Instagram, um, actually, as well as my Instagram, I would actually do this as what I wore during the week. Yeah, I'll wear this so you can see how I would style it. So yeah, it's one of my favorite refashions at the moment, I think. Yes, do like that, I think it's really nice. Anyway, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and please do share. And if you've got any ideas that you want me to um, refashion on my channel please let me know in the comment box below and I will see you next time